chapter one of The Awakening, the novel opens as Léonce Pontelier, a guest at Mrs. Lebrun's cottages on Grand Isle, attempts to read his newspaper in peace. Mrs. Lebrun's birds, a mockingbird and a colorful parrot, are making an annoying amount of noise in the main house, so Mr. Pontelier walks to his own cottage and settles into a rocking chair to read. Having only left New Orleans the day before, and since the newspaper is a day old, much of the news is old. As he reads, he can still hear the sounds of the birds coming from the main house, as well as two girls playing a piano duet and Mrs. Lebrun's voice directing her servants. His two children play croquet with other children as their nurse supervises. Mr. Pontelier begins to smoke a cigar and watches as his wife Edna and Robert Lebrun return from taking a swim at the beach and approach the cottage. As the two sit down on the cottage's porch steps, obviously having enjoyed themselves, Mr. Pontelier remarks that Edna is sunburned. Then he gets up to leave, saying his plan is to play a game of billiards. He leaves Robert and Edna at the cottage and tells his two children he will bring them presents, indicating he might not return in time for dinner. The opening image of the novel shows Léonce Pontelier, a man of wealth and privilege, has the freedom to find what he desires. In contrast are the birds in cages. They have no freedom to move about as they please, but are confined in a small space in a fixed location. This juxtaposition highlights the stark contrast between men's and women's roles in society. Men have the freedom to move and find what satisfies them, but women are confined to smaller spaces and much more restricted roles. Birds will continue to symbolize women all through the novel, and the theme of women in society will continue to develop. Robert and Edna are introduced not as people, but as a parasol, which they're both under. Both a dehumanized it and a couple. The Pontelliers clearly have little affection for one another. However, Edna's relationships with her husband and with Robert's will be a focus of her emotional conflict throughout the novel.